well. Before we do that, however, I want to bring on the superintendent of schools in Berkeley County, Ron Stevens, who has graciously accepted on short notice my invitation to join the program. Ron, good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning, fellas. How's everybody doing? We're doing great. We appreciate your availability this morning on uh, short notice after what was a uh, very uh, scary moment for a while there at Hedgesville High School. Can you tell us what you know about that incident yesterday, Ron? Well, sure. Um, yeah, in my lands, it's uh, anytime you have um, um, situations like that arise, it's it's uh, certainly um, certainly makes people uh, value you know the safety that we actually live in right now. Um, yesterday at about um, what was it, about nine twenty in the morning, uh, we received notification from the. Um, uh, state, the state's safe school helpline, that there was a uh, report of a threat to Hedgesville High School. Uh, so, you know, uh, our law enforcement, the sheriff's department, uh, acted swiftly. The school administration immediately worked to evacuate students while, you know, the, the law enforcement agencies were, were working and our sheriff's department uh, helped supervise Um. You know, we work cooperatively with Sheriff Blair and and all the deputy deputies to to um, work to get that the, the site secured while we were still trying to track down where the where the call came from. And um, you know, while we were you know tracking things down, um, you know, the school was thoroughly searched by a bomb sniffing canine unit and. Uh, you know, everything was cleared by the sheriff's department at 11:35. You know, I do want to thank our transportation department for rallying quickly and and providing some shelter to the students because it was cold outside yesterday. And uh, you know, to have to walk out of the building abruptly without you know coats and supply some um, some buses for for coverage there. But um, you know, we take all threats seriously, and um, you know, really appreciate the swift response of the of the sheriff's department yesterday. Um, actually, we, in the matter of um, about an hour and, I don't know, 45 minutes, uh, we were able to track down where this, um, where this online threat came from. It was sent directly to the, to the help, uh, the uh, safe schools helpline. And uh, unfortunately it did come from uh, a juvenile from another one of our schools, and that student will be held accountable for their actions. Ron, there was also an incident at Huntington High School, similar in nature. Any connection between the two or completely random? Well, you know, I, I hate to say there's no connection because you all see, you always have the possibility of a copycat type of thing. The more things are out there, um, it, you know, in, in the student's eyes and the public eyes, the more more chances are that somebody's going to try to repeat something. Um, but I believe in this incident they were they were not related to each other, while they may have all been related to, um, you know, a wider concern across the country of, of this happening. And in regards to the, the nature of the incident in the beginning, as you hear about these things, uh, is this, when I was in school, we used to practice fire drills where you had the orderly fashion of filing out of the schools. Is that yeah, basically that's... how the school is emptied? Um, yes. Um, you know, at the beginning of the year, all of our schools go through the procedures for fire drills and evacuation drills, um, you know, and, and how to you know get out of a building and then to move to a, an alternate site to, to wait uh, that's a safe distance away. So that's what took place yesterday. They you know, evacuated and uh, were able to move to a, a safe distance away, and um, we were able to provide some, some shelter in the form of the buses yesterday. So and the, that's what was taking place. The nature of social media as it is now, were students aware of the threat before the school was aware of the threat? You know, I don't think so. I think yesterday's threat actually was made directly to a helpline. I don't think there was a social media aspect to it. It was an online report to the state's uh, safe schools helpline. So somebody intentionally um, actually went to the to a uh, reporting 
app that reports directly to our Safe School Helpline that we get feedback from the West Virginia Fusion Center, which is where the helpline is based, uh, anytime there's something like this that, that occurs. So you know, that, that went in. They immediately contacted us. So it was it was a pretty quick turnaround from the time the, the, um, uh, the report was made to when we received information about it. Did any students or teachers elect to not return to the school yesterday? I believe that, you know, as, as in any case, uh, when you have situations like this and, and, you know, you're shrouded in the unknown and we have a situation where uh, it's cold outside, students are, are, are being evacuated from from buildings. And, you know, I, we did have students that signed out from school as a result of that. Yes, we did. Any idea of the number? I don't at this time. Um, no, I just don't have that number. And, and I do know that there were a number that made calls and requested that, but it was handled so swiftly that by the time some parents arrived, the, the, um, there were a number of parents that opted to leave their students there. So I don't have the exact number of who left as a result of this. And in regards to the lawsuit with the nurses and the labor situation in the Berkeley County School Systems, Ron, is there anything, I know this is obviously an acting, active case, is there anything yeah. that you can comment on? Well, I just think it's, you know, I just think it's unfortunate. And, um, you know, we, we want the community and, and, and our nurses as well to know that we, we've always valued the work of our school nurses. We always have and we always will. Um, we are far above the state staffing requirements for nurses and we've worked hard over the years to make sure that we have a nurse uh in every school that was uh that was a goal um you know as many as eight to ten years ago to try to reach that goal and we have been able to reach that goal uh, and that's not just one for every 1500 students in in k7 uh, which is what uh law requires we're far above that uh, we've we've conducted compensation studies to make sure that we're offering competitive uh, terms and salaries. Um, however, we do have to follow the law, and as stewards of, of our, the taxpayers' money, I take that responsibility very seriously. We've, we've been, from the beginning, very transparent uh, with our nurses, uh, along with their attorneys. Unfortunately, they've chosen to follow this path. And, you know, you, you said it at the, beginning, at the beginning, I really can't talk about the specifics, but um, we have no choice but to you know, defend what the law is telling us to do. Ron, I told you I wouldn't keep you long, and I'm a man of my yeah. word, so I promise to uh, I, I keep you up with that. So if you have a final word you want to get in, uh, please do it now. If not, I appreciate your time. I, I do. Rob, you know I always do. And, uh, you know, first of all, I want to thank those people who are, uh, out there working every day, you know, in law enforcement and putting their lives on the line for them to uh, uh, react to a, a false report um, and have to treat it as real. You know, it, it certainly makes your blood pump. And uh, I appreciate everything that our law enforcement agencies did. The State Department worked with us, the State Fusion Office. But I can't overlook our own employees at the school level um, and our transportation department that, that really uh, kept things under control in a safe atmosphere and kept our students um, safe from harm. I really appreciate all the work that they did. That it was, uh, you know, after the fact, you can you can think about how lucky we are. Uh, during it, you know, again, your blood was pumping uh, trying to get through all of that. But certainly are uh, appreciative for all the efforts that they made. And I appreciate you calling to, to uh Get the uh, information straight from me, Rob. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Have a good day, sir. Uh-huh. You too.